Now we're going to make small little mirrors for our car. This will again give a little bit more detail and a little bit more of an um, opportunity to make the car look more real. The way we do that is we take a piece of our corrugated box and we cut it into a um, small square which will be, our, um, be the shape of our mirror. And we go ahead and make two of those. You can place the one that was cut on top of the box just to make sure that it's uh, the same size. Now once we have our two small squares, we're going to go ahead and put some paint on them. Usually the mirror will have the same color as the body of the car, so we keep it the same, same color that we used for the body of the car. Now to attach the mirror to the car, I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to cut it. Now being that we use the corrugated box for our mirror, we still have those spaces in between, just like we used for the wheels of the car. So we can go ahead and put the toothpick inside. And then with the other side, we'll go ahead and just place it inside the box. Now depending on the, the box, we can either poke a hole. I'm going to take a pencil and I'll just pop a hole into the side of the box. And then I'll be able to take the toothpick and just slide it in. And with a little bit of glue, that should hold nicely. I'll go ahead and do the other side. First I'll um, put the glue in. Might be easier to put the glue actually on the the border of the mirror and this way when it lays flat against the box that's will be that will be the side that it, it sticks to so that'll be more secure. Then we'll go ahead and do the other side first making the hole with the pencil. So now once we have our once we have our hole we'll go ahead and take our mirror the piece that we're using for the mirror and put it into put it onto the toothpick with a little bit of glue on the flat side and then we'll go ahead and stick it right into the hole that we made onto the side of the of the window and now we have we see that we have little mirrors which all of these little things that we do all the little details and decorations just make it more of a cute project and more of a lifelike type of car. And here we have our finished car.